Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Catchphrase Arena, the star of the show, the one, the only, Mr. Showbiz himself, it's Nick Weir! Nick, you're on! Hey? Eh? I'm late, sorry. Anyway, let's meet now two very patient contestants who are Jack and Kathy. <laughs> sorry, what can I say? Right. It can happen. N nice for you to make it. <laughs> oh, yeah. cheeky already. <laughs> okay, tell me about yourself, Jack. Well, I'm Jack, I'm 33. Um, I work in a, as a manager of a bridge club in West London. Um, so I play bridge, uh, supervise it, teach it, really? all sorts, yeah. And it's quite a hip game now, isn't it? You tend what? to think of it uh, for more senior people, but... It used to be. Nowadays, a lot of young people coming in. Really? Um, we've, we've had one or two young ones. Remember Nick, uh, Nasty Nick from Big Brother? Yes. Yeah, we've had him in. Is um, he a good player? He's um, got that steely look, hasn't he? He's got a steely look about him, yeah, but um, uh, he was an OK player, yes. We haven't seen much of him since the, uh, since the show. OK, anyway. Yeah. Welcome to the show. I'll back to you in a second. Thank Hello. You. How are you, Lakathy? Hi. Yes. Tell me about yourself. Um, I'm a mother to Indigo. I'm a wife, and uh, at present I'm at home looking after my little girl and hoping to go back and continue my master's degree in September. And what are you studying? Uh, multimedia. Oh, so a bit of show business as well? Yes. And you're into singing or were, right? Yes, I've uh, developed arthritis oh. over the last uh, eight years, so I don't actually go out singing anymore, but um, I do miss it. I do like to sing. But the voice is still good. Yes, I hope so. I know that for a fact. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what, at the end of the show, one of you will have an opportunity to make a dream come true, and I mean a dream. You can go anywhere in the world and do anything. Where would you pick as your ultimate destination, Jack? Well, I'd have to say Mauritius uh, would be my one. Reasons? R reasons, no reasons in, in particular, but I had a look in the holiday brochure. It looks really hot, loads of nice beaches, and yeah. it's a long way away from here. Yeah, and it's a bit off the beaten track, isn't it? It's, uh... it's off the beaten track, it's near, not like the Caribbean, yeah, which exactly. is a bit uh, passe now. All right, and Cathy? Uh, I'd like to go to Brazil, because... Uh... <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, I like South America. I like the sound of South America, and I felt that um, Brazil had all the yeah. qualities and the in one place. Yes. That. Okay. Yes. Well, no guarantees, but one of you'll have a chance to make that dream come true if you get to the super catchphrase. We've got to get there first. Let's start making some money. Are you ready? Yes. We're ready. Yeah. yeah. Let's play catchphrase. <laughs> OK, Jack, Cathy, um, in round one, the catchphrase is worth £100 of pop, so we start gently and work our way up. Remember, you only get one try at this part of the show, so if you guess and you guess wrong, your opponent might steal your money. And remember, out there somewhere is this week's catchphrase travel bonus. And as usual, it's superb. All right, I'll tell you about it when we get there. Let's start playing the game. I can't wait. Especially as I was late. Hey, that's a poem. <laughs> Not bad. Here's your first catchphrase. Jack. Cold fish. He's the right one. You're off the mark. £100. <laughs> OK. Now, the bonus bank starts with £200. Behind those shapes is a catchphrase. You get one out of the way, you have a guess, you get the money. OK. Go for it. Um, lady in a garden. It is, but it's not the catchphrase. OK. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Cathy, you're in. Here's a catchphrase. If you see it, say it. Cathy. Burglar alarm. Yes! <laughs> OK, it's even Stephen. £190 in the bonus bank now. We've taken £10 out. We do that each time we guess wrong. Sorry. Try this time. No, I haven't nope. got a clue, sorry. OK, just to remember, sometimes it's worth a, a stab in the dark there because you could get that money for free. You hear that sound? That's good news for both of you, because this next catchphrase is not only worth £100, but it's also the key to tonight's catchphrase travel bonus. And if you get it, you'll be going to the Maltese island of Gozo, all courtesy of the Malta Tourism Authority. It's a weekend break for two in the sunshine. There's loads of things to do, including walking on the cliff tops or through the lemon, olive and orange groves. And you can go shopping for some of the most famous locally made glassware in the world. How about that? You're going to Gozo. Wow. But... 
We're not giving it to you free. You've got to work for it. You've got to get this catchphrase. <laughs> Kathy. Trophy wife. Yes, well done. <laughs> You're also off to Gozo. How Thank about you. that? Thank you very much. Have you ever gone to Gozo? No. You're going now. <laughs> Good stuff. £180 now. Take a shake. Oh. Fertilised egg? Not fertilised egg, OK? In fact, that's a long way away from what I'm looking for. <laughs> You're getting all biological on us. I think Jack might know it. OK, you're both back in. Here's a catchphrase. Jack. Sick as a dog. Is the right answer. <laughs> 200 pounds a piece, 170 in the bonus bank. Go for it, Jack. Uh, walking on eggshells. You got the money, well done. Let's look at how it's going so far. Kathy, you've got 200 pounds, okay, not too far behind, but Jack's in front with 370. <laughs> right, before we move on, Jack, you used to have a very interesting profession. That's right, Nick. I used to make handmade wooden jigsaw puzzles on a little kind of, well, it's a bit like a sewing machine, really, piece by piece. So you get a picture. Yeah. Could be anything. Could be a photograph of someone's photo, could be an artist's impression, whatever. And it just goes around and cuts all the pieces out? That's it, tiny little pieces, yeah. Skilled job, nice. Yeah, yeah it is, yeah, quite skilled, yeah. All right, let's move on. Okay. Now, round two, we've doubled the dosh. The catchphrases are now worth £200 a pop. Not only that, but we'll double the bonus bank too. When you see that, it'll have £400 in it. And just to make things interesting, in round two, there's a theme. The theme tonight is the world of finance. All right? Here's your first one. Jack. Money makes the world go round. Yes, indeed. £200 in your bank. Straight away. 570 pays £200. £400, as I said. We've covered, we've covered the catchphrase with balloons. That's the only difference. Don't know. Nothing at all? Nothing. All right. Cathy, you're in. You need a couple of hundred pounds now to get back into the picture. Here's a world of finance catchphrase. <laughs> Kathy. Cash point. Yes, <laughs> cash point. <laughs> 390 pounds now. We've taken a tenner out. Take a balloon. Army game. No. Um, along the right lines, though, I would say that. Jack, you're in. Here's another catchphrase. <laughs> Kathy. Hit the jackpot. Yes, well done. Six hundred pounds. You've taken the lead. You're leading by thirty. Three eighty in the bonus bank. Take a balloon. <laughs> right, the mauve one's gone. Can you get it? Oh, um, dog army. <laughs> You don't know how close you are. You're not quite there, though. Got to keep it going. Jack, you're in. Here's a £200 catchphrase about the world of finance. <laughs> Kathy. Check mail. Not the catchphrase. Jack. Your check is in the letterbox. Your check is in the post. Yes, yeah, so you didn't get it the first time, you did the second, and because I like you, we'll give it to you, oh, all right? Thank you. You don't mind, do you, Kathy? Yeah, I do. All right. 370 now. You'll mind if he gets this, though, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, shooting, shooting with the bone. <laughs> now, how often have you used that catchphrase, Jack? Um, all the time. Oh, OK. <laughs> Oh, we'll use it next series. All right, Kathy, you're in. That's not the one, needless to say. Here's a catchphrase. <laughs> Jack. Money for old road. Is the right answer. <laughs> Another 200 pounds. 970 now, play 600. Don't worry, Kathy, you're still nice and close. 360. <laughs> Rag and bone army. <laughs> they're getting really good. We're going to use these, you know, because they're better than the ones we can think of. All right, Kathy, you're in. Here's a catchphrase. Oh, Jack. Um, throwing good money after bad. Not the one. Kathy. Um, 
Money is the root of all evil. Yes! <laughs> Good catchphrase. <laughs> Kathy, if you get this, you'll go into the front. OK, try it. 350. Um, shooting duck. No, you're a bit closer before, actually. I mean, uh, not that that helps very much, but you were along the lines a little bit earlier. Jack, you're in. Here's a catchphrase. <laughs> Kathy. On the cheek. Yes. <laughs> and Kathy's in the lead. All right, 340. This will give you a really good margin now. Um, animal Wars. Very close. Think about what animal it is. Jack, you're in. Here's a catchphrase. <laughs> Kathy. Rags to riches. You're getting good at this now, aren't you? You've warmed up. Three thirty in a bonus. I think she might have it now. Dog fight. No. <laughs> this is the definite catchphrase we're looking for here. That's a good one as well, but there's a different one, and it's a bit closer to that picture. Jack, you're in. Here's a catchphrase. <laughs> Kathy. Out of pocket. Is the right answer. <laughs> Getting a good lead now. Fourteen hundred pounds. 320, there is a catchphrase that describes that picture beautifully. Um, War of the Dogs. I'm now going to hand it over to Jack. Um, dog fight in, in World War II. <laughs> <laughs> You've just let yourself down. They were all good until you said that. That was just nuts. No, it was dogs of war. Oh, dogs of easy. war. Easy. It's another name for mercenaries, yeah, you know, soldiers that, that do it for money. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We've still got £320 in the bonus bank. We're going to give it to one of you. We'll flash up a catchphrase. Could be anything. Won't necessarily be about finance. Although it might be, you never know. First in with the right answer gets the cash. Let's have a look. Uh, clutching at Jack. straws. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> Nice recovery, Jack. We've got £1,290, but Kathy is still in the lead with £1,400. <laughs> right, that's it for part one, but join us again very shortly in part two with the crazy cash countdown. Loads more prizes, and of course, we'll be finding out whether Jack or Kathy is heading to Mauritius or Brazil. See you in a couple of ticks. <laughs>
Jack uh, pulls apart. Is the right answer. £427. You've got the lead. Jack, can I just show you something? A thousand pounds in the bonus bank. That's bank big here. money. All right. I'm not giving it to you. Oh, right. I'm just showing it to you. <laughs> okay, get a bit of food out the way and try okay. and get the money. Here we go. There's plenty of other fish in the sea. Not the answer. Kathy, you're in. Here's a cash countdown. <laughs> Kathy. Adam Zale. Right answer. 425. <laughs> You've taken the lead. It's to and fro. Very interesting. £900. We took £100 out. We do that at this point in the show. Take a piece of fruit. Um, that was the pineapple. Um, fish of a different colour. Nice try. Jack, you're in. Here's a cash countdown. <laughs> Kathy. The chicken. What came first, the chicken or the egg? You got there in the end, yes. <laughs> 442. Good lead now. Jack, she's getting in front. Careful. Okay. 800 pounds. Take some fruit. The grapes. Swim like a fish? No, I like it. it. It would almost work with what you see, but it's not the one I'm looking for. You'll see more in a minute. Jack, you're in. Here's a cash countdown. Jack. Starry Eyed Kiss? No. Money's still running. Star Jack. kissed lovers. Star. Star kissed lovers. Not the one, but so close. Kathy. Star crossed lovers. Is the answer. 267 oh. for your efforts. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, you're hyperventilating. <laughs> 700 pounds. Fruit. Um, deep sea diver. Not the one I'm looking for. Jack, you're in. A chance to live another day. Here's a cash countdown. <laughs> Kathy's in. Pants to poverty? No. Uh. <laughs> Pants to poverty. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Keep trying. Oh, um... Throw your knickers down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Later, maybe, darling. <laughs> Got a show to do. <laughs> Kathy, come on. Keep trying. Oh. oh, it was all fur coat, no knickers. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never got that. You never got that. Okay. Right, that's the cosmic blowout. You know what we do? Six hundred pounds in the bonus bank. Well, we've got to give it to you. No choice. So we'll take the fruit out of the way. First in with this bonus catchphrase gets the cash. Let's have a look at it. Jack. Three men in a boat. Is the right answer? <laughs> OK, Jack. That was a very good recovery, but it hasn't quite been enough. You've got a very respectable £2,317, but tonight's winner is Cathy with £2,534. <laughs> Jack. You well, are one of the nuttiest contestants we've ever had. <laughs> you're great. Well, I'll see you in the bar for sure. Don't go home early. OK, no, I right? won't. Because I think you're a good laugh. And you're buying. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Kathy's buying, but we'll see you in a minute. All right. All right. Jack, you've got £2,317. You've been a good laugh. How about a round of applause for Jack? with 2,534 pounds, you are going to play the super catchphrase. Let's get on with it. Yeah. Thank you. You're right. Careful. Take your time. Take your time. Kathy, we're here at the super catchphrase. I'm chuffed for you. Okay. Thank you. I think you're going to do very well. You're on good form. All right. Have a look at the screen. That is the flag of Brazil. Right now, if there's any Brazilians watching, they're going bananas now because they're the most mm -hmm. passionate people in the world for their country. That's where we're going to try and send you. Let's okay. send Anastasia to Brazil. <laughs> Let's have a look at the grid. <laughs> there it is, right? 25 letter squares. Behind each letter a catchphrase and all you've got to do to get to Brazil is get across that screen, answering the catchphrases as you go and you've got 60 seconds. It's not that hard, is it? Just I hope stay not. calm. <laughs> Alright, what I want you to try and do is this. Right? Zip straight across, five perfect catchphrases. If you struggle on one, don't waste too much time. When you think you've done it, 
pass. Okay. Computer will block you out, and then you just got to make a sideways move, up or down, to get round it and continue. If you stay okay. nice and calm, you'll do it. We are all rooting for you. Are you feeling confident? Oh, a little bit. No, no, be positive. Okay. Are you feeling confident? <laughs> yes. Is she going to make it? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, Cathy. Okay. Take your seat. Take your time. Get yourself comfy. All right, and when you're ready, I'm right behind you. Give me your first letter. OK. K. K. Um, small gold, small chest. Oh. King's ransom. Not quite. King's gold. Pass. OK, another letter. F. F. Blue chip. Right, another letter. G. G. Blue bottle, carrot top. Right, another letter. H. H. Um, backstroke, log, uh, suitcase and a log. Uh, case log, swim case log, pass. Another letter. B. B. Under lock and key, lock, net lock. A uh, padlock, locked net. No. Pass. Another letter. L. L. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on. Up the time for you. Up the time for you. Are you all right? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> now you passed on a few. Okay. Let me yeah. just tell you what they were. You passed on small fortune. Uh, oh. That was swimming trunks. There were two. Oh. Was, it was a suitcase trunk, and there were, the other one was to sort of help you. And gridlock. That was a gridlock. And the last one was fast track, but you didn't get a chance to go with that. Oh, it's oh. not so easy in the hot seat, is no. it? No. <laughs> and I can't help you. I know. You haven't done too badly for a loser. You know that, don't you? Because, well, first of all, you got two squares right. We'll give you £100 for each catchphrase you got right in the end okay. game. Uh, you got the trip to Gozo, so you're off to Malta. You've got a total winnings, all right? Everything added together is worth £3,734. Oh, we don't believe in losing on catchphrase, yeah, and why should we? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jack's waiting in the bar. We're going to have a few drinks with him. Okay. Yeah, I'll make him buy too. I'll tell you what, we try every week. We can't every week, but we nearly do. Next week, more catchphrases, more cash, more fun, more drinks. Hey, don't be late. See you next time on Catchphrase. Bye. <laughs>Christmas isn't the only time for families to come together and have a bicker over a game you know. Family Fortunes is another perfect opportunity and it's next here on Challenge. New to pick, Medicine's answer to Sherlock Holmes tackles more medical mysteries in-house.